Welcome back to another episode of Beer Genius. Glad you decided to join us. I am on a Carl Strauss kick right now, taking just a brief break uh, from my canned beer kick, which I'll get back to shortly. Uh, I have a couple holiday seasonals from Carl Strauss Brewing Company. Carl Strauss is out of San Diego. They uh, distribute a fair amount, and you should be able to find them all over the West Coast. Give them a shot if you happen to be in that area. I really like their stuff. I reviewed both the Full Suit Belgian-style brown ale, which is right below us. I've also reviewed um, the Red Trolley Ale, which I really enjoyed. It's one of the best reds that I've ever had unbelievably good so you Killian's fans that are looking to take it to the next level uh, give Red Trolley Ale a shot I think it's phenomenal unbelievably good we're on to number two with Carl Strauss this is their big barrel double IPA this beer was released in early November uh, you should be able to find it on shelves now for a while uh, I believe this is no, I, I take that back. It is a, um, uh, it's a limited run. They're only doing 600 cases of this. Should be able to find it. Uh, if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I've never tried it before. So this is a blind tasting for me. Everything I say is literally as I'm processing it, as was the Belgian full suit, uh, the Belgian brown ale that I just tried. Let's go ahead and give Big Barrel a shot and see what we think. One thing you'll notice about this beer is, and that's a beautiful color, a pretty typical IPA color, um, double IPA color especially. Um, one thing you'll notice about this particular beer, if you get a hold of it, is that Carl Strauss wanted to do a very different sort of exotic hop profile and what that means is that floral grassy smell that you usually get uh, from from really hoppy beers that 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 enamel um, coating that you almost get from from these super hoppy beers those are hops those are the hop oils and the aroma coming out of it almost what you smell uh, almost all of what you smell is either the roasted malt or the hops in beer and so Carl Strauss wanted to do a drastically different flavor profile with this double IPA so they actually chose to go with some hops from New Zealand called Nelson Sauvin hops from New Zealand and they're supposed to have like a real floor uh, almost like a fruity floral character to it uh, more tropical fruit than than like a grassy earthiness that you would get normally from European hops and, and, and the like so let's go ahead and give this a whirl see what we think uh, oh that's marvelous I'm getting some mango I'm getting a lot of orange, some pineapple. Um, absolutely, that's wonderful. Still has a bit of a grassy character, which uh, I would miss dearly if it was completely gone. But uh, this is definitely pretty unique on the aroma. Um, they probably throw these in last minute in the boil when they're brewing the beer itself. So it retains all of those flavors that you would otherwise lose. So let's go ahead and give it a taste, see what we think. As you can see, the head has dissipated a bit, which doesn't bother me. It's just characteristic of the beer. Tons of pineapple and orange. This is almost like a pineapple orange banana. Um, juice. <laughs> it, it, it smells exactly like pineapple orange banana juice, and it's, it, it's pretty interesting. Let's give it a whirl. Boom, that's really spicy up front. Um, I like it. Mm. You can chew on that for a bit. Absolutely, that's a nice, that's a really nice iteration on a double IPA. Most of these double IPAs use hops from the Pacific Northwest. Uh, lots of uh, Chinook type uh, hop varietals that go into these double IPAs. That's not the case with this beer. This this double IPA is totally different. It uh, still has that beautiful double IPA color. Uh, it's about 9% alcohol by volume. I don't taste a 
bit of the alcohol. A lot of IPAs you'll taste, even singular, uh, single regular IPAs will be really boozy on the nose. I don't get any of that with this particular beer. Let's give it another taste. That's really very pleasant. To be honest with you, I'm not sure how much I could handle of this beer. This is something that's really intense, best shared with um, a, a friend, most definitely. And uh, it's, it's almost a conversation. It is a conversation piece, as a matter of fact. It's a great conversation starter. You'll probably be talking about how incredibly different this particular beer is than most double IPAs you come across. So pretty darn interesting. I would almost put this similar in character to Dogfish Head's 90 Minute IPA, if you've ever had that particular beer, but a bit more tropical fruit flavored. Um, and, and, and when I say fruit flavored, it's very subtle. And most of it's on the, on the nose, in the aroma of this particular beer, not on the palate, not on the taste. So that's something important to keep in mind. Uh, this isn't a fruit beer by any means, but it certainly gives off some interesting characteristics as we're going through it. This would be fantastic with cream, di uh, cream sauce dishes, uh, like heavy pasta, spicy pastas especially, like a pasta a la vodka um, with um, some, some various cayenne pepper type seasonings to it. Something really intense i think cajun style blackened chicken this would be phenomenal with with something and it would stand up against those spicier heavier dishes with no problem whatsoever carl strauss big barrel double ipa i'm going to go ahead and put this beer at a 91 out of 100 unbelievably good very enjoyable uh the reason it's not ranked higher is because I, um, I, I'm not sure that everybody would really particularly enjoy this style. It's an intense beer. It's very different. I'm missing a little bit on the back of my palate, which I wish it had a nicer finish, but it lingers in, in, in a bit of an odd way uh, where it's difficult to uh, to really tr tell what the beer is trying to do so you know maybe that's not a bad thing it encourages you to take another sip which i'm about to do so 91 out of 100 big barrel double ipa cheers thanks for watching i'm jameson huckaba with beergenius.net